right, guys, so I'm back. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the Zomo book, okay, and figure, uh, finish our um, next section. So Mrs. Bruin's going to put Zomo up at the top here, okay? So who is the trickster? Well, I hope you're all thinking that Zomo is the trickster. Zomo the rabbit, right? What does the trickster want? He wants, I'm gonna say it in a sentence, Zomo wants wisdom, right? He went to the sky god to get wisdom. Describe one or more tricks. So what was one thing? I only have a little box, so I'm gonna choose one, right? He had the um, fish dance until he danced his scales off, right? Where was that page? Right here. Big fish heard the drum of the music, the jumped out of the water and he danced on the sand and he made all his scales fill, fall off. Zomo made big fish dance until his scales, oops, I forgot to see, fell off. Who is tricked? Well, Big Fish was the first one, right? Who was the second one? Do you remember? After Big Fish, it was Wild Cow. And then it was leopard, right? He wanted the leopard's tooth. What is the lesson or moral? Hmm. So this is when we have to think about what did the sun god say to him? What, what did he tell him the lesson or the moral was? Do you remember? He told him that there was something that was very important. He told him he already had wisdom and he already had courage, but he was missing something. He was missing caution. And caution is when you think, oh, is this a good idea, right? When you take a step and you think about something and you think about how to protect yourself, you think about uh, will other people get hurt, that's showing caution. And that was something that Zomo was missing in the beginning of all this, okay? So, wisdom, courage, and caution. are important. That is the moral or the lesson of this story. And do you remember where this story is from? This is a tale from West Africa. Okay, and there's a little part in the beginning of the story I just wanna to read to you real quick. It says that Zomo the rabbit is a prominent member of the family of animal tricksters that populate the t traditional tales of West Africa. So he's in more than one of these trickster tales. These humorous stories of mischief and cunning are told to instruct as well as to entertain and help keep alive the powerful oral traditions of the African people, which means that it is a tradition in their culture to tell these stories and to pass these stories on from generation to generation. All right, boys and girls, so I hope you enjoy the story and I hope you do your best work on the Google Doc about the Zomo story. And um, I can't wait to read your responses, okay? Bye-bye.